We're rubbing records with Rob Riggs. Brought to you by RemixReport.com. Yo, Remix Report, what's going on? This is DJ Rob Riggs checking back in with you guys. Uh, first off, I guess I want to apologize for taking so long to give you guys the next uh, video in the segment, but it's been a pretty crazy week down here, pretty crazy month really in Miami between, uh, you know, Winter Music Conference, Miami Music Week. Uh, we just had the uh, regional DMC battle down here last weekend, so been kind of busy, but we're back and today I'm going to be showing you guys the next segment in our series picking up from where the last video left off which was the forward scratch today we're going to be talking about the drag and the stab scratch <laughs> All right guys, so check it out. The stab scratch is basically the exact same scratch as the forward scratch, but this time, instead of releasing the record, you're going to actually hold on to the sample the entire time and push forward as you open the crossfader. Sort of like you're stabbing somebody. Um, the things to keep in mind is the harder you push forward, the higher sounding stab you're going to get, the more crisp it's going to sound. Um, and also, since you are going to be pushing the record much faster than normal, you will need to train your crossfader hand to shut off much quicker. What you might end up finding is that as you start trying to learn this scratch, you are hearing yourself do the back pull to rewind the sound. You're not shutting the crossfader in time. That's normal. Um, it's just going to take some practice. So that's the, the stab scratch in a nutshell. The drag, similar to the stab and similar to the forward, it's just playing the record in a forward motion, but this time, instead of pushing really hard forward, you're going to slowly push the record forward. Um, the slower the better, really, in my opinion, for this scratch. It gives you the drawn out, low sounding warp sound, um, which can really add a lot of flavor into the scratch combo. <laughs> The drag is not a hard scratch to do. You'll probably be able to do that one right away. But what will make them sound better is using them, like I said, in variation with the stab and the forward. So the forward scratch, the stab, and the drag, essentially all three the same record movements. It's just going to be how hard you're pushing each one. And then it's up to you guys to group them together in a bunch of different combos so you can make them sort of sound less repetitive. You know, no one wants to hear you get on and do a forward scratch for 16 bars. It gets old. So throw a stab in there a few times, throw a drag in there, just sort of switch it up for everybody. So I've broken down a few combos I do using the stabs, the forwards, and the drags. Um, these are some simple variation combos. You guys should be able to pick them up pretty quickly. And uh, I've demoed them over a slow BPM beat. And I've also included a example of how I might use it in a mix transition by just sort of playing with the first few words of the next record, stabbing them in, dragging them in, and then just dropping them onto the beat. So let's take a look at that now. Why you want 
gonna go and do that, and do that, and do that. Okay guys, so now you've seen the stab and the drag applied in various combinations with the forward. Um, hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know if I can be of any assistance as always. Just leave comments on the video. Uh, check in with me at Twitter, uh, at DJ Rob Riggs, and uh, I'll be checking in with you guys next week. Peace. Well don't just sit there. Shouldn't you be rubbing one out right now? with it. Check back soon for more rubbing records with Rob Riggs on remixreport.com.